We're trying to get people to think through the processes that they use when they do things. In this case, it's cooking. Anytime you work a math problem, you have you go through a process. It's called an algorithm, and. If you're going to have a computer do something for you, you have to have an algorithm, a method that you program into the computer. So we've got to have kids starting to think about actually doing computer algorithms. And one way to start thinking about algorithms is just how you do everyday tasks, such as cooking. So all I have to do is take them out. Um, they're actually on a stage. The teachers were in the nanoscale characterization facility, where there's a lot of instrumentation for viewing particles on the nanoscale, and nano means 10 to the negative ninth of a meter, which is about one one thousandth of the diameter of a hair. We try to stay away. And it turns out that there are lots of fundamental ideas that cross many disciplines that are necessary for understanding the nanoscale. Things that are already taught in the curriculum, such as forces and interactions, size and scale, structure of matter. But by the end of the week you'll turn in a whole one of these with standards and duration, with one semester that's totally filled out with whatever you would do during that semester. At least the goal for this week is for them to have uh, two projects, for them to feel like they can really implement those projects and be successful. Uh, we also want to create a group of critical friends that can help sustain, uh, be a support network for them. Um, and this year we changed it, we changed it a little bit so that our full week in June now would be um, how do you design a project and answer those need to knows as they come up and as they seem fit just like you would do with students about um, group management or letting administrators know what's going on in your classroom and the implementation side. One of teachers, one of programs. What's happened I think with 215 this year is um, we've reached a tipping point. There's an expectation in a lot of the school districts that the teachers know how to use PBL and use PBL. The growth was, was much more rapid than, than we anticipated, frankly, but it's, it's uh, interesting how this region of the state, uh, as, as a direct result of, of the, the PBL initiative uh, um, that has been a partnership of Indiana University and ECHO 15, now this region is becoming a, a very uh, strong PBL community. We do have a high dropout rate. While we are producing good products, we have kids going out doing wonderful things. There's also, uh, for all the great achievers we have, there's those who are, are failing to get a, a simple diploma. And we have to provide as much uh, diversity in our instructional methods, strategies, and try to reach everyone. It's not a question of uh, are teachers going to use PBL in this area, but um, how well are they going to use it and how are we going to support it, how are we going to grow it.